Hey, this is how to check if you have a uh, uh, TLS 1.2 support in your Rails QBI API library. Okay, now this is going to vary. So QBO API uses Faraday and by default it uses net HTTP. And I believe that this comes down to what version of Ruby you have for your Rails project. If you have two version 2.2, which this project I have uh, right now, which I'm in the Rails console, has, uh, I think you're fine. But you are going to have to test it, I think. Um, but if you're not using uh, another library with Faraday, then uh, you would have to check. And this is a way you can check. So um, here I have an instance in of QBO API with the proper creds. And uh, I'm simply just overriding the connection method in QBO API and I'm putting in this SSL labs um, URL here, okay? And we're just gonna get that, we're gonna do a get, uh, excuse me, we're gonna first just um, initialize that. Um, we're gonna return back a Faraday connection. We're just gonna do a get on this and let's hold that in a response. Okay. Um, now we can, now we actually did get the body right there. So I can actually begin to search now. So. Uh, I'm in Tmux here, so I can search the screen. Uh, if you're in a terminal, you, you're going to have other search capabilities, or you might have to dump it into a uh, an output file or whatever, because this is all HTML. I didn't find a great solution for pure API, where you could just get a nice clean, yes, your connection works with TLS 1.2. And... Um, Again, I didn't set the context for the screencast, but in about seven days from now, actually it's the 22nd, so a little more than a week, you will have to have TLS 1.2 ability from your HTTP client to talk to the QBO API. All right, so that's context of the context of the call. So anyway, so I'm now I'm searching up this output screen that we got from SSL Labs, and I'm just going to type in TLS 1.2... Okay, I didn't find anything. Um, what is that? TLS, something like that. Okay, it's not these. I'm just scrolling up now. I'm going to keep going up. Actually, let me search again. So it's TLS 1. There's a better way to search this. Okay, uh, how about protocol TLS? Ah, there we go. Okay, this is what we want. So this is the output. Again, it's kind of nasty. But um, here, oh, excuse me. Okay, this is, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so this is the HTML screen. And you see protocol TLS 1, 2 is yes for this connection. So we're good. So that's how you do this test for the QBO API library. It's only expiring. It's expiring soon. If you haven't changed the underlying library, HTTP library in QBO API, I think you can override that. Um, and you're just using net HTTP and Ruby 2.2, I think you're fine, but you should do the check anyway. Thanks for watching.